So yeah, welcome to this live stream. We are in Aerofly FS2 in the HP Reverb. We're in Hawaii, which is uh, a freeware package that I've put a link in the description below. The very special thing about this, apart from the fact it looks incredible, as you can see here, is that we have moving objects. We have moving um, road traffic, sailing boats, naval ships, which is, you know, a first really for Aeroflight because people do say, and they are right in saying that this world can be a little bit stagnant, meaning there's not much going on apart from you and your aircraft. But I tell you what, guys, this scenery is really groundbreaking and I hope that this is the start of many more to come that really utilize what this sim can do. Because one thing I love about this sim is it's very smooth. You hardly get any stutters at all. And I think really for us VR users, that is a big deal. It's the biggest thing really. Having a smooth experience is number one on the list before all the eye candy and all the other stuff. Now we're in the Just Flight 152, which is a payware aircraft. But what that means is you get better flight modeling and systems. And they've done the 152 very proud, you know, they've considering the limitations of this uh, of Aerofly FS2, it looks and sounds and feels and flies really, really well. Look at this scenery here. We've got quite a major airport coming up. So what we'll do is we'll just fly over and see if we can see any traffic about. Sorry guys, trying to get back in the cockpit again. There we go. And it's funny, I know everybody's showing off this new Microsoft Flight Simulator, including me. And that's what everyone wants to see, but to be honest, I think it's actually nice to sometimes go back and see what other flight sims are out there, particularly for us VR users. And I think if you are new to VR, or if you are um, getting fed up of the you know crappy performance in X-Plane, this is really the last word when it comes to performance in VR. It's fantastic. And look at the scenery here is amazing looking absolutely fantastic the panel of this uh, aircraft is fantastic as well with all the scratches and reading everything there and there's with my little severed hand here, if I just move this out of the way, you can manipulate all of these buttons. For that look, I'm changing my comm frequency. I know you, it's pointless in there of life too. We don't have ATC, but I can change all this stuff. If I can get to the mixture. I can't quite get to it. Hang on, because my no, my keyboard's in the way. <laughs> but you can like pinch your fingers together and move all this stuff or brush your finger across. I really like that, it's very, very intuitive. Can you see there, look guys, I'm changing there the com with my fingers there, that's brilliant. Very, very natural. Right, so here we are, we've got some sailing boats in the harbour here, and they are all moving, which is quite strange to see that in this sim. We've got a huge ship there, I wonder if that, that's probably more of a static model, I'm guessing. But we'll just have a little look over here. Can you see that guys? That sailing boat is moving. Just shows you that you can do this in Aerofly. That's a huge ship, look at that. That's not that uh, round the world ship, is it? Because I know that there is a, sh a ship out there that basically just constantly goes round the world. Ortho looking very crispy, very low here actually. And there we are, there's the 
Airport. Happy Sunday, dude. Loving the content and can't wait to see VR in Flight Simulator. Thank you very much. Two-Tone Murphy, I appreciate that. Yeah, honestly, it's going to be a big deal. I think once that sim gets VR, it's going to be like it's released again for the first time. It's going to be that big a deal. All right, here we go, guys. This is moving traffic in Aerofly FS2. You've seen it here first, guys. <laughs> Probably not here first, but, but, you know, I'm not joking. That's... That's moving traffic in this sim, which I've never seen before. In fact, we'll go a bit lower down, to be fair, so you can see that really, really well. Look at the colours. Beautiful scenery here. Moving traffic everywhere. And yet we're still really, really smooth in performance look at that look hopefully you can see that okay guys that is moving traffic wow we're going to be completely unrealistic and we'll just go right over that head the airport so you can see it in all its glory as i'm looking down here that feels really really realistic totally real to me that God, I love VR so much. That looks spectacular. Very, very nice indeed. Right, we'll continue heading along the coastline here, enjoying these beautiful views. Might follow the road a little bit there. Wowzers. Stunning. <laughs> hey Jeff, inside of that door could do with a wipe down. Do you know what? This is how it should be in an aircraft like this. It should be a bit dingy, a bit, you know, mouldy. Yeah, I can see that. In fact, it looks really realistic in the headset, as you can imagine. I love how Just Flight have made this aircraft look lived in and beaten up. I think sometimes developers make their aircraft look a bit too shiny. that look when you even see down there there's something what is that moving that's golf carts moving on the that's incredible look at that little golf carts moving around can you see that guys that is amazing ha! I love it when you get developers especially if they're freeware really pushing what the sim can do We've just never seen that before in Aerofly. We're quite low down here and it's still looking really nice. Have another look outside, I think. And get the right view. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a sec. Just look at the chat again, sorry guys. I'm, I'm looking over to my right because that's where the chat is. You won't be able to see that though. C5 Galaxy Studio for an ultra smooth VR flight. Aeroflight FS2 does it best. Very true, yeah. Totally agree. I think the number one priority for VR above anything else is always smoothness. Because if you don't get the smoothness, then you get, you feel, nause you know, you feel nauseous, you feel weird. You know, imagine moving your head in real life and when you move your head from left to right you're still looking at the same thing for a second it will make you feel weird so that has to be the number one priority for any flight sim is performance 
particularly for VR. And I do feel like even with the new Microsoft Flight Sim, once that gets VR, we're, st we're still going to be struggling for performance. It's going to be, it, 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 you know, it'll run okay, but it won't be as um, smooth as Aerofly, that's for sure. But then it is doing more. It's, I guess it's an alternative take on flying, really. This isn't my main sim, but it is a sim that I use a lot for VR. Tumble Bull, hello, how you doing mate? Thank you for joining in today. It's a pleasure having you aboard. I do really appreciate it. So I'm just looking now at my channel to make sure that I'm streaming okay. 24 people watching, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm running on a Rift S right now. Are you happy with your Revib G2? Is it a huge improvement? Um, I'm not running on the G2 uh, C5 Galaxy. I'm running on the G1, the original Reverb, but it's actually the version 2 of it because there was a few problems with the lenses when it first got released. Um, and I'm very, very happy with this headset. It's fantastic. The resolution, which is the same, by the way, as the new G2 coming out, the resolution hasn't changed. It's the perfect uh, sort of, I think that that 2160 by 2160 resolution is perfect. We don't need any more right now. It'd be nice to have more, but I think it's overkill, quite honestly. So yeah, it's fantastic. Let's have a look outside here. What am I doing? Sorry guys, there we go. <laughs> I'm really clunky with my views today with this sim. Look at that, we've got some solar panels there in the fields. Traffic on the roads. Beautiful smooth performance, we're in VR. What more could you ask for really? Right, time for a quick sip of drink. It's funny, I did a live stream yesterday and I was in 2D mode in Microsoft Flight Sim, so I was like having cups of coffee and scoffing biscuits. You can't do that in VR though. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really nice scene right there. Hopefully it's coming across okay. So what we'll do guys is I'll start finding somewhere for us to land, I think. McGuinness, I thought some of the sands on the beaches in Hawaii were just bla uh, jet black, being from volcanic origins. That's a good point, actually. I don't know. I'd imagine they would be, but it, I guess it depends on where. I am on the most eastern point of the uh, of the whole island, because this is the only bit that they've modelled so far. So I'd imagine, you know, the terrain around here will be quite varied, and you will see that. But right here, it looks quite tropical, doesn't it? It looks gorgeous. More sailing boats there. Buzzing around. This scenery really is spectacular. It really is very nice indeed. Let me get back into the cockpit again, somehow. There we go. C5 Galaxy Studios, what's your graphics card? I've got an RTX 2070. It does well, looking good here, yes. So I'm just a bit checking my streams still working. There we go, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. That could totally confuse me then. Um, yes, I'm using a 1080 Ti card, so I imagine your RTX 2070 Super will be better than my 1080 Ti card. Oh, we've got a big stutter. 
Sorry guys, that was a massive stutter then. No idea why. Um, so, yeah, you would be absolutely fine with that card. It's funny though how I do feel the 1080 Ti card is still a very strong card. Still does the job very well. I will be in the market for a 3080 Ti. I think that's probably the best of the bunch in terms of the new 30 series cards, but I won't be getting one anytime soon, to be honest, because I'm very happy with the performance that I'm getting. So plenty of fuel, T's and P's are all looking good. is amazing. In VR it really is spectacular. I think I can see. Is that an airfield? I can't quite tell. Go a bit closer. So even the uh, the custom overlay with the buildings looks really really convincing. Yep, that is an airfield. Right, I'll tell you what guys, what we'll do, we'll uh, circle that bay over there, because that looks gorgeous, then we'll come in to, for a landing. I think that will be a good idea. But I know it's a bit strange live streaming Aeroflifers too, because it's not the the best thing out at the moment. You know, everyone is obsessed with this new Microsoft Flight Sim, but this is exactly why I wanted to show a video of Aerofly FS2 because it still looks amazing in VR in 2020 and I do feel that even today this is one of the best VR experiences you can enjoy because it's just so damn smooth. So what we'll do, we'll just fly over this beautiful um, looking area over here, there's a beautiful bay and plenty of custom buildings. So we'll just have a look over there and we'll do a bit of a wide base and come in to look for a landing, I think. But I, gen I really truly feel like I'm flying right now and I think that's the point, really. No matter how good a sim can be, it's only as good as, you know, it's imp uh, VR implementation. And 2D monitor mode just doesn't cut it if you really want that proper, amazing, immersive experience. Galaxy Studio. I'm considering a 3070 because they are on par with the 2080 Ti for just $500. Wow. They're not out yet though. Huge bang for the book. That is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. 2080 Ti. Well, the thing is for me personally is the 2080 Ti card is about 20%, 15 to 20% better than the 1080 Ti card for me. So that's just not enough. But I know the 3080 Ti card will be more like 40, 40. Oh, OBS has just disconnected. Sorry guys, have I got a disconnection there? Not quite sure what happened there. Hopefully we're still live streaming. Let me know guys if there was a bit of an outage there. Apologies if, if there was. Get back to the views there. Look at that for a view. That is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. That is spectacular. Back again. Okay, thanks guys. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. OBS decided to uh, disconnect. <laughs> the joys of live streaming. Oh, we've got to go outside for this. That looks gorgeous. Hang on, I need to move my view again. There we go. That is an amazing view. I don't care what flight sim you're, <laughs> you know, enjoying in, you know, the new Microsoft flight sim looks great, but that also looks stunning to me. That looks really, really good. And of course in VR, it's just, it blows your mind. 
you've quickly run out of superlatives. Wowzers. And to think this is freeware scenery as well. I have South Florida scenery add-on and flying around Key West in. It's my favourite place. I'll have to check that out. Thanks very much. Yeah, I, I haven't. Um, I don't think I had that scenery. To be fair, I'll go back into the cockpit again. Fast Frankie, have you tried Star Wars Squadrons in VR? Not yet, but it's on my radar. Um, I'm going to buy it because my, my friends absolutely. There's a certain friend who has VR who's completely uh, obsessed with Star Wars. So I did say I would. I would uh, I would buy it so yeah you might if you fancy seeing that on the channel um yeah we can do a video definitely matt how much is this sim and how much add-ons you need etc um to be honest i think it's best to get it well because well, it has sales quite a lot i bought this when it was about 35 pounds uk pounds which i think is a huge value for money to be honest for what you get for vr anyway um and for add-ons this is the Just Flight Cessna 152. I highly recommend it. That's pretty much it. This uh, scenery I'm using is freeware, would you believe? And it looks just incredible. It looks really, really nice. And totally free. So yeah, I guess it's as expensive as you want to make it, really. Have you tried Nero, Neo Fly for Flight Simulator? No, I haven't, Peter. I'm considering trying that too. Yeah, absolutely, Star Wars. It just looked like a lot of fun. I was actually in Elite Dangerous uh, the other night for a few hours, and I love that. In fact, I've got a little video of Elite Dangerous come in. It is a brilliant little space sim, that. This really is a beautiful scenery. I tell you what, we'll go a bit further. Let's do another quick tour around this area. It just looks so gorgeous. Wow. There's something about VR that just really chills me out like nothing else. Right, tell you what we'll do then. We'll come in for a bit of a landing. Thank you so much for joining today. I know this is not the next best thing. I know it's not Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I'll tell you what, I still think Aerofly FS2 is a solid VR flight sim, even today. I mean, look at the view out there, and that is freeware scenery, guys. Right, we'll put our landing lights on in a second, and we'll make a bit of a, a sort of base leg. Galaxy Studio, I just ordered a SciTech X56 Hotas setup because my Extreme 3D Pro buttons are starting to fade. Oh, I had one of those. God, yeah, I used to love that joystick. It's such a shame we don't have a an affordable solution for uh, force feedback. Imagine if we had a yoke that... Uh, I've lost the airfield now, where is it? <laughs> we had a yoke that uh, had force feedback of some description or some haptic feedback that would be amazing i think it would sell really well right there we are we're going to have to do a bit of a uh, a base leg onto finals here mixture fully rich flaps coming down 
Now, of course, you won't see this on the 2D monitor, but right now, the way that terrain drops, you can really feel it in VR. But it'll probably look fairly flat on your screen. But that looks amazing. That view out there, very convincing indeed. Just trimming up here, we've got using my SciTech trim wheel here. I could not be without it. Here we go. On the finals. Flaps down, T's and P's looking good. Landing light on. And can you see that guys? We've got a tractor there. <laughs> that is brilliant. Just put the nose down there. Can you see the tractor? Moving. Another one there. Very nice touch. We're a little fast here, but we should be okay. Always a little bit of a, a dip there. And down we go. Fantastic. That was a really enjoyable little flight, that. Aerofly FS2 always makes me smile and it always chills me out. And you know what? You can't say any better than that, to be honest. Look at that. All these uh, beautiful 3D objects, custom buildings. That's a very nice looking building there. Hopefully they've, uh, it's a restaurant or something. I can grab a coffee. <laughs> This, this detail everywhere with this scenery, it's really nice. Oh, look at that, we've got a Ferrari. Very nice. Love it. There's so much uh, to see in this scenery, you could be flying for hours and hours. Okie dokie, guys. I think that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to do some IL2 now, but I won't stream all day. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along for this little ride. As I say, this is freeware scenery. I'll put a link in the description below of the forum post uh, where you can grab this Hawaiian scenery. It's probably been, up been updated since I last used it anyway, since I last installed it. Um, so yeah, buttery smoothness at its best. Totally agree. So thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Galaxy Studio, for coming along. And I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Stay safe.